channel. It is about 7 a.m. on Labor Day, you guys, and we are actually, we've booked a private lake today. Absolutely crazy. We're gonna tell you more about this service called Private Waters Fishing, who we've actually partnered up with for today's video, to have a spot all to ourselves on a normally very busy, very crowded day where we might have to get out on the lakes and fish around all these leisure boaters that are messing up your fishing, and we don't wanna delay any longer because we just got to the spot. Sunrise is here. We wanna try and hit some top water, so join us for an awesome day of fishing. It's Devin, myself, and John. We're about to have a lot of fun. All right, we're good. Dang, look at this place, clear water, grass. Holy smokes. All to ourselves, man. Check this out, Devin just dropped us in. Getting ready to go. All right, first couple cast. Going with the top water first. This thing dives like, <gasps> Devin, what is? Oh, right there. There we go. Oh, he had it. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Got him. I got him. Come here. Come here. Got the first one on the frog. Right? Yeah, I'm recording. Nice. <laughs> first fish, frog fish by the dock. Dang, these guys got sharp teeth. Holy crap. <laughs> There we go. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is better. He's swimming towards us, but he's better. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stay down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Got her a second one. Oh, my gosh. The frog is working. <laughs> that was the perfect cast, though. That was like, it was in the, just the perfect area. Ooh, wee. <laughs> You want to try a frog? I'll tie a frog on for you. Healthy fish. We're upgrading in size by a little bit. Let's keep it going. Just might as well just take the leader off. It'll be fine. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, I missed him. <gasps> He's, oh, he had, hold on. What is it? Okay, pop it again. That was a blow up. Oh yeah. Yeah, yes, no. yes, no. yes, really. No, he came up. He just right. disappeared. Exactly. <laughs> All right, now check your frog. Now hold on, hold on. Sometimes there's water in there after it gets taken under. So you squeeze that and sometimes water will come out. And then also make sure your hooks are good because if your hooks are in the plastic, yeah. it's not going to get the fish. Oh man. <laughs> I want to see you get one on that more than I want to fish. All right guys, so I'm just working the trolling motor back here. Devin and John are fishing with the frogs. Oh, we're trying to get Devin's dad on his first frog fish. He just had his first blow up and then the fish came off after a couple seconds. So we're trying to get this thing worked out here, man. This is a perfect froggy spot too. It's got all this grass along the edges and then it just tapers down. Right along that edge a lot of times is where those bass are cruising, roaming early mornings, looking for some food, man. They're, they're eating the bait. And if there's a little frog that jumps in the water or something that falls down off the trees, they smack it. Best time is at first light and right at sunset for these frogs, y'all. So we're getting after them. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, where's the freaking, where are they at? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got him. Yes. Nice. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> nice. All right. The first one on the frog. Dang. Oh, oh, he, oh as soon as it hit the water. <laughs> First ever frog fish, too easy. Time for more blow ups now. <laughs> it, it hit and I jerked it once and I was yep. waiting for it to come back up and it, it was gone. <laughs> All right, John's first fish on the frog ever. That's on the uh, Guggen Squad popping frog in the bullfrog color, kind of got that yellow nose. Oh, that's right. This is the one that talked about the creek and there being a lot of fish back there, isn't it? We worked it all the way back uh, into the back 40. Y'all check this out. It's supposed to be like a nice little creek to fish in the springtime. Uh, they've got a John boat here. For members and um, you could bring your kayaks or do whatever you'd like at a spot like this this is gonna be an excellent springtime little cut we've just been kind of picking some off on the frog now the sun's starting to come out we're gonna start switching things up see what we can't find Live. this one's not that bad either oh he's a good one probably yeah. the biggest of the day huh might be I might just have to reach in here for him come here buddy <laughs> Hooked right in the top of the mouth. That's what you want right there. <laughs> all right, guys, my first one of the day on the Sanko. It's been kind of slow, bluebird skies, but we've got the place all to ourselves. It is a lot of fun. We we're trying to help John out earlier with the frogfish. <laughs> Anyways, I got my first one of the day. We're going to try and get a bunch more. It seems like this dam is a good little spot, and uh, the Sanko seemed to be working. This is just a black red flake with a little nose weight, so almost technically a Nico rig. Get this one back in the water, try and get us some more. 
Devin also just had one come off on the same setup, just a little Nico rig, essentially a weighted wacky rig. So we are gonna get all three of us rigged up with these right here, work the bank and try and get some more. He's not half bad. Gotcha? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Ooh, ha -ha. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Come here! Come on, stop fighting! Oh, he might actually be the best one. <laughs> Took a little pit stop, like Weston said, hanging out on the dock, casting a few lines. Got this little dude. Weightless Sanko, huh? On a weightless Sanko. Well, it's got a. <laughs> I put a nail weight in it. Oh, okay. A little just weight. so it would fall a little faster. But. Good little guy. All right, y'all, it's getting a little toasty. 12 noon, we're gonna take a little pit stop and uh, get some lunch. All right, guys, and that wrapped up a half day of fishing on the private water fishing lake of Pecan Springs Ranch. And I've got the website pulled up here. I just wanted to show you guys a couple different options to pick and choose some exclusive properties that you can fish if you choose to become a member of private water fishing. So let's go to the home page real quick. It shows you one lake all day, all yours, totally private spots, and there's lots of amazing properties to choose from to fish. So let me show you a couple examples. We can go over here to PWF properties. We'll scroll down here and you can see if we zoom out on the map, there's properties all across Texas. Over 70 private lakes for the members to fish. As you click on each one, you will notice a thumbnail of the location. And then if you want to see further details, of course, you can click that thumbnail and you can uh, figure out more about the property. So let's say we wanna take a look at SW Lake. You'll see the day rate for the property, the half day rate. You'll see uh, this one actually has a video showcasing the property. There's also member submitted photos, as you can see here. And you get a good idea of the spot that you'll be fishing. You can also take a look at fishing reports for these properties. And the fishing reports are very accurate and up to date. It seems like most members, after they fish the properties, fill out a detailed report talking about the size of fish they caught, uh, the areas they were having the best luck at, and what baits they were catching the fish on. Uh, just to keep Keep all the members in the loop as to what might be working at what time of the year at these different properties. This one it says for general info is a 15 acre lake, bank fishing is available, tent camping is uh, not available at this location but some do have tent camping available or even cabins to stay in. John boat with bench seating is available and most of the properties do come with a, a John boat that uh, I believe you have to bring either just a battery and a trolling motor or a paddle and you can cruise out on the John boat for the day. It also has a concrete boat launch so I'm sure you could launch smaller aluminum boats on this property as well just like what we did at Pecan Springs and so that is just a quick rundown of a couple features on private water and of course we're going to talk about this more as we utilize the service and go visit more properties but we had an absolute blast and accomplished the mission of helping Devin's dad get on his first ever frog fish it was a ton of fun guys we hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more videos of us fishing some of these private spots showcasing some of these properties let us know down in the comments otherwise we'll catch you on the next one peace <gasps>